80 new teachers graduated from the Holy Child College of Education at Sekendi in the Western Region. It was the college sits congregation and the guest of honor was the wife of the Vice President, Mrs. Matilda Emisa Atta. The Holy Child College of Education was formally opened as a teacher training college in 1946 by the governor of the Gold Coast, Sir Alan Burns, through the instrumentality of the Catholic Bishop William Porter of the Gold Coast Colony. The college, having gone through a checkered academic history, currently runs a three-year diploma in basic education and diploma in early childhood course for teachers. In all, 185 students of the 2012 batch who satisfied all the requirements were awarded a diploma in basic education. The overall best graduating student this year was Miss Maud Ganson Newton, whilst Miss Charlotte Sam was adjudged the best graduating student in general. The most outstanding hardworking teacher award was received by Mr. Josiah Ampia. <laughs> Mrs. Emisa Arthur also presented the three award winners with her personal awards. The principal of the college, Mrs. Margaret Lemaire, noted with pride the school's telling academic performance. She said the college is steadily building the capacity of its staff to become one of the leading colleges of education, as a result of which 20 members of staff have recently graduated with master's degree in various disciplines. Mrs. Lemaire, however, touched on some challenges confronting the college. Staff and student accommodation continue to be a pressing need. Out of 75 staff members, only 33 have accommodation. The campus is still being used as thoroughfare by people. As a result, we get all sorts of suspicious looking characters on our campus. I would like to take this opportunity to appeal to corporate entities, oil companies, honorable members of parliament, and individuals to come to our aid in the fencing of the college. The guest speaker, Mrs. Matilda Emisa Arthur, underscored the need for the larger society to take responsibility in ensuring that the country's teacher training colleges are well resourced to enable them to produce well rounded teachers to run the emerging knowledge based economy of the country. We should train our teachers to regard themselves as professionals or knowledge workers who do not spend their entire professional life in just one education system or even in a single country. We should encourage our teachers to look beyond the confines of the disciplines they teach and create diverse learning experiences. Given the new opportunities available through the use of ICT in order to motivate their pupils while they themselves promote their own self-development at the same time.